Hello, everybody, and welcome to Stellaris. You're just in time for my first ever playthrough on YouTube of this game. I have been focusing a lot on The Sims and not really on anything else, and uh, I haven't played this game in a while, and I absolutely love this game. I just wanted to start playing it again, and I thought, why not record myself playing it? And I actually recorded myself yesterday uh, in a video and ended up, unfortunately, <laughs> not turning on my microphone. So it was not recording my audio. So we're just going to go ahead and start a whole new game. I don't know how lucky we're going to be as we were last time, because what was crazy is we literally started right next to a mega structure. It was insane. Like it was the coolest thing, but we're going to do it again. We are playing as the United Nations of Earth. We're going to be, be a representative democracy. I first started with the United Nations of Earth whenever I started Stellaris. And I, I don't know, I just feel like they're very versatile. You can do a lot with them. And then um, with the new Federations DLC, um, you can like I just, I, I want to get into the whole Federation thing because I would love to see how it's changed since the last time I played it. Um, and I just feel like with the United Nations of Earth and being able to be free, you know, you're not a spirit, spiritualist, so you can have robots, you can have all of these things, you know, and so uh, I really just am excited to play as them again. So let's go ahead and select them. Um, and we will go ahead and check all of our things here. And we're going to keep Iron Man mode on because I would like to get some achievements since I haven't played this game that much. So let's press play and see what happens. If you hear noise in the background, it's probably my cat being a spaz. Okie dokie, here we are. The United Nations of Earth, a representative democracy with a fanatic, egalitarian, and xenophilic ethics. We are, of course, on Earth in our solar system, the Soul System, um, and our origin is prosperous unification. Now, I really haven't played with the whole origin thing. I think it is a really amazing concept, but we're just going to go plain Jane, what you would normally be doing, uh, which is, uh, you know, a stable planetary unification, meaning just basically all the the continents and nations uh, and states of the world um, came together and basically created one world government, which led to this space exploration. So, much has happened since modern humans first emerged in Africa some 200,000 years ago. Our kind spread rapidly across most of the globe, and soon the first civilizations took form. Scientific progress has been swift, though not without cost. Wars claimed millions of lives, even before the atom was tamed, and the turmoil of the 21st century saw the mandate of the United Nations gradually expanded in an effort to create stability. By the early 22nd century, the supranational organization had become a de facto world government. Few can deny the technological breakthroughs that have come out of its sponsored research programs. With the recent completion of the first true starships, mankind is about to embark on a new era of space exploration. Let us begin. Okie dokie. I always like to start off by picking my research. For physics, I always do this plus 20%. I feel like it just really helps you out. I know my options and my choices are not going to be what everyone does, uh, but I just have found the most success with those things. I've never actually finished a game of Stellaris, so this series is going to be my excuse to do so. Um, but I'm going to go for planetary unification because that unity right there is is awesome, and those additional edicts that we can get are going to help us. Um, I've always had a problem when it comes to the military side of Stellaris. I always end up like getting into wars that I can't win, and then I just basically quit the game because I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I'm not going to be able to win this battle or this or this uh, this war. And so if I don't quit, I cheat, and I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and just get this done. But I'm not going to choose these two right now because, like I said, with the whole physics thing, I think. This plus 20% in the research for engineering is, is going to help us get get to where we need to be militarily for the beginning of this game. So let's check out our planet. So over here, let's see what we can build. We can't build anything because we don't have enough minerals yet. Um, we have a 26 mineral income, 23 food, 7 in our uh, goods, uh, consumer goods. And then we've got 12 alloys and 3 influence. So... 
we're really going to have to start upping our mining because if we're going to build like space stations and things like that, we're going to need minerals um, and alloys. And for alloy foundries, you have to use minerals. And so and it takes a lot. Like right there, it says job base upkeep 12 minerals, like just for six alloys. So it's only a half payout. You know, so you're losing half those minerals. So we're really going to have to get some minerals. So actually, I think what we're going to do first, which I can't do because I don't have the minerals. So let us zoom out and see where we are in the galaxy. Cool. So we're actually kind of in the same area as we were in the last video that I messed up on, except we were down here. So we're on the edge, which I really do like because you can just expand really fast and keep whatever nations are probably over here or empires that are over here from encroaching on your your territory. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to go to our shipyard, we're going to get another science ship built, ready to go, and then I think we're going to have our current science ship that we have explore what's around us. I'm going to send them in this uh, general direction, get them started on the surveying, because can't go anywhere without knowing what's there. So let's get them started. Let's turn this bad boy up. So what I think we're going to do also is we're going to get this uh, mining station set up here in our own. Oh, it looks like we can't. We have to wait for some minerals. Okay, well, we'll wait a, f a couple months for that. While we're waiting, we're going to look at the, the soul station and see what our defenses are nothing right now. All of our modules are full. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that does that I don't need a general right now and our science ship is done being built so let's go ahead and recruit a scientist leader cost I love the leader upkeep negative 50% and we don't need a researcher so we're gonna just go ahead and choose them all right now let's get them started on their journey we're gonna have them go in this direction Go survey that black hole, go down here. I'm sure I've already clicked some of these up here near our borders for the other science vessel. Oh, so we're gonna name our AI. Her name is Karen. Karen normally has a negative connotation, but for right now, our Karen is gonna change that. So uh, apparently there is a anomaly, it's routine. So we're just gonna go ahead and have them research it and see what's going on. It looks like, oh my gosh, we've got three different worlds here so that's pretty nice to have right next of course it's alpha century so there's going to be a continental world there so that's probably going to be of course the first one that we go and colonize looks like we've got another routine research anomaly going on here so let's go ahead and get that started i bet we have enough minerals by now to get these mining stations set up because we want to be able to get what we already have so we can continue adding to our income so we have 286 after building those, so we might as well look and see what we need to get an alloy foundry, because we're going to need some alloys. It looks like uh, Micro Singularity recently intersected Alpha Century B, uh, passing straight through the core and emerging on the other side of the planet. Does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output, so it adds some science research. That's good. Let's see here. What do we need to get a mining district? Uh, do I want to spin that or wait? I'm going to go ahead and spin it. I'm going to get a mining district set up. Alrighty. We're well on our way. Getting some minerals. Looks like we've got some blockers that we can clear. Oh, apparently there's some heavy metal frost. Um, add some minerals. Great. Over here. That's what we need. Minerals, minerals, minerals. The economy. It's amazing how complex the economy in Stellaris is. I feel like there's just so many challenges with this game. you got to deal with economic, social, uh, governmental, um, you know, relations with other diplomatic uh, stuff. Like, it's insane. So apparently there's our precursor civilization, the Cybrex, which I've never actually played into the precursor missions. So we're going to go ahead and do that because I feel like we should. Oh, uh, unable to build a mining station. So why were you unable to build a mining station? Let's find out. Did I not have enough minerals at the time? Oh, human xenologists are practically falling over themselves, man. Better stop tripping themselves up. Here, this is where we're trying to build a mining station. Go over there. 
I also love the humanoids pack, you know, with these different ships and stations and everything. I think it's really awesome that they gave us something different than the, like the mammalian, like blocky ships for uh, humanoids. It just really looks more, I don't know, kind of Star Trek Federation-y, especially with the star bases. That's what I really like. You know, it doesn't look all blocky and kind of like, I feel like mammalian and the reptilian forms kind of cross against each other. And I don't really care for that, so. Ooh, we get to pick our first tradition. So, I think we're going to do an expansion just because we have Alpha Century down here. And there's another anomaly. Thank you, Karen. Very hard. We're going to leave it be for now. Oh, great. Our mining station is completed, and our mining district is almost completed as well. We're going to get a steady income of some minerals so we can go ahead and build we're gonna have to wait for 400 but so that we can go ahead and build our alloy uh oh it looks like we have quite a lot of different uh traits down here for our population um because of the free will they're allowed to do whatever they want they're allowed to live their lives we also have two jobs available but no unemployment so we need a bigger population which is going right now we have a plus three a month. That's good. Army is not really a big deal right now. Uh, but we're really going to need this alloy foundry to get some military ships built up. Because that is the quickest way, I think, that you get behind in this game. Is that you, like, totally don't build any corvettes or anything starting off. So you end up being snuffed out in the beginning. And we don't want that. I don't think I need another uh, science ship because I already have two out there in the world. Oh, there are our other three habitable planets, which we can live on. But for some of them, we're going to get some some uh, debuffs. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and build the three Corvettes that I can build with the alloys that I have. And we're almost to our 400. Oh, our situation, oh, that was a different anomaly, but I do want to do the Habitable World Survey. It is a commendable initiative. It's not like the United Nations of Earth to say we have more important matters to focus on. Very unexplorative. Explorative? Is that word? Ex well, it is now. Explorative. I really haven't played with the corpocracy stuff either, so... Maybe one of these days I'll get into that. Things are well on their way. And it looks like we have Bernard Star surveyed. So how much is it going to cost for us to... I forgot it doesn't cost minerals anymore. And we have enough. So let's go ahead and build a star base out there. So we can get some mining stations set up. Oh, hard. Thank you, Karen. We don't need that right now. Thank you, though. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. You know, I say okie dokie a lot. Just realized that. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. Oh, it was just, oh, over here. I was like, what's anomalous about them leveling up? I was like, oh god. Scary, scary. Let's see here. We're gonna leave that be for now. I don't know why they're finding all these very hard things <laughs> i don't want them to be finding all these things oh did not need to find that okay so we've got 497 so do we have a slot that we can build this alloy foundry great idea when this ship is done building its star base we'll have it start building mining stations for us because i think we're gonna have to start expanding soon cool here we go all right mining stations Wonderful. We need 300. We'll just wait a little bit for it. And there was an anomaly detected. Why, Karen, are you giving me things that are hard for my scientists to do? Hmm? Hmm? Don't understand. So we're building an alloy foundry. What else can we build? Uh, we don't really need consumer goods right now because our population growth is like so slow that it's really not going to go up that much. So, I do know, okay, we've got our three new 
ships, our construction ships just kind of idly sit in there. We can go ahead and build those mining stations. We get to pick another tradition. So I think we're going to do, we're not colonizing yet, so we're going to do Starbase Influence costs less because we got to build a Starbase over here first before we can actually, you know, colonize it. So we're going to build another construction ship so we can have them going in two bays because soon, I mean, we're going to have to have one down here and down here. Hopefully that there are no neighbors that are super close because, listen, one time I was playing this game and uh, I had neighbors like right here next to me. And these boys down here, they were like militarists and they hated me. Because I was an egalitarian democracy, and they all they wanted to do was destroy me, and it was pretty easy for them to do so. So, like I do with all of these games, I gave up. But we're not doing that this time. We're not giving up. We are going to finish this game, whether I become a vassal and implode, or I dominate the, uh, you know, the galaxy with my federation building skills what is his trait oh he's righteous less crime this leader's incorruptible well that'll change soon probably i feel like no leader almost in this world is incorruptible oh an anomaly thank you karen yes finally one that's routine okay so we've got Another construction ship. Let's build an outpost at Alpha Centauri. Gotta get that started so that we can go and colonize Empire Sprawl. I didn't know that Empire Sprawl existed. I don't think I've played this game since that was updated, which may date the fact that I haven't played this game in so long. Wait, yes, we got some research. How is our research actually going? That's a great thing to check and all of a sudden i can't find it there we go oh we're almost almost there 21 months which for all of us is two years which seems really long but not in this game not in this game at all surveyed system construction complete cool so what we need to do is we need to go build a starbase down here gotta expand 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 Colonize, 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 just like all of civilization has done. Sometimes not so good, but hopefully with the United Nations of Earth, we can be good to everybody and not just ourselves. Hopefully. We'll see, though. So we've got some blockers that we can clear. What do we got? Industrial waste wastelands. Oh my gosh, I love this. They added the Great Pacific Garbage Patch in there. You'd think by now that they would have like like gotten rid of that i love these these are so cool <laughs> like oh oh you know why i didn't even realize this but did we start with mars being colonized oh no we didn't so if i'm not wrong there was a time where if you chose to play as humans of course and you played you know, with the United Nations of Earth, that you would get um, Mars colonized already. And it'd be extremely a, an extremely small colony, and uh, you would then be able to get the technology to terraform Mars. And when they had a different planet system and there were not this, you know, you had to build on the tiles or whatever for the planet, you, uh, you had to colonize before you could do anything. Uh, with that planet, basically, because there was not enough room without terraforming. I said colonize, but I meant terraforming. You couldn't do anything without terraforming because there wasn't enough room. So, anyway, I'm pretty sure it used to be like that, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, and everyone who's listening to my voice is correcting me right now, who knows anything about this game. Because you probably know more than me. Just saying. So our naval capacity is 20. And we are at six. So I think this means we should build some more Corvettes. Oh, what do we got? The UNS Hubble's crew is reporting that they found something spectacular. On the surface lies traces of an explorative expedition. Explorative. That's the word I was looking for. Explorative. Explorative expedition of another civilization left behind or some well-preserved documents and artifacts. 
So we've got a special project that this issues translating explorers text or we can get energy credits and consumer goods. Wow, that's a lot of energy to get all at one time. Do you know what? Let's find out what is going to happen. And I feel like we should build some research. There's a dog outside barking so super loud. We are going to need a lot probably of minerals to build these because there's there's quite a lot of quite a lot of resources over here in Alpha Centauri and two worlds that we can't even I guess we could colonize them but it really wouldn't work very well Oop, it's zooming along zoom oh system survey completed oh another tradition okay so what we need to do is reduce our starbase um, upkeep because it's gonna give us just a little bit more uh, income when it comes to resources even if it's a little like minute in the end it will add up especially as we are trying to really spread out at the very beginning of this game. So can we build an outpost here? We can. We're using a lot of our influence to continue sprawling, so maybe I should choose carefully. I think our next course of action should be... I don't really want... There's nothing here, so we're going to continue doing this. Because if we can get these points where other hyperlanes come in, we can like make sure that we get the rest of this. Yes, new research. Thank you, Karen. Okay, so we've got mining station output, ooh, which would really help us with our income. Um, basic stripe guy. Yeah, okay, carrier. Okay, power decks of skeletons. Okay, so but we've also got minerals from jobs, but I really do think think oh but this is the robotic path which i'm sure we'll get this again um but i think right now what we're gonna have to go for is the zero g refineries i think that's really gonna help our income 10 percent doesn't sound like a lot but in the end it, it adds up which there will be a lot of other things that we can do to you know help out you know help out um our empire but do we need some more alloys that's the question so we really need Ah, we do not have, we have a blocker that we can clear. So we're going to get rid of the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It does cost money or energy, but it will allow us to get more mining districts. So, system survey complete. Okay, so there's three minerals and two energy. Two energy, two energy. Okay, that's pretty. Okay, you're done. Well, how many other places do you have queued up? How many other places do you have queued up? Oh. Quite a lot. Okay, so we've got this down here. I probably should have thought about that just a little better and gone down here, but I didn't wait because I'm impatient. And anyway, there is some science uh, science research down here that uh, we get from researching this black hole. We're gonna go ahead and build those mining stations because that's a lot of minerals that we need to get. So looks like we're off to a good start with the United Nations of Earth so far. We've got some fleet power, but I think we need some alloys though to continue building Corvettes, but I think that's gonna be our first priority because unfortunately not everybody in the United Nations, as they said, wants to be a part of the United Nations of Earth and they will split off and become pirates. And those pirates can become a nuisance whenever you're trying to expand. Um, oh, knowledge is key to the universe. All right, what can we do? Oh, blue razors. Blue razors. So we can increase our energy credit output from our technician jobs, or we can unlock blue uh, lasers, which is going to increase our weapon strength, or we can get 5% uh, our research speed. Well, we already did the 20%, so we're going to go ahead and do the blue lasers so we can get on this path to military strength so that the United Nations of Earth does not just, uh, you know, crumble. Thank you, Karen, for that anomaly. Research it. It's easy. It only takes 61 days. Just do it. Construction completed. Thank you, Karen. Uh, that's nice. So, let's see here. We're going to go down. No, we're not. I lied, everyone. We're not going to do that. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. A big, big one. So, we're actually going to go ahead and move our construction ship there, and that's where we're going to that is where we're going to construct our next starbase. How much influence do I have? 
How much influence would it cost? Oh, that's not even surveyed yet, so we can't even build anything there. Deceptive giant. Okay, what we had assumed was an abnormally small gas giant is, in fact, not. All right. Very intuitive. <laughs> Beneath a deceptive cover of thick dust swirling in the upper atmosphere lies a regular planet. A barren planet, but a planet. It has proven quite embarrassing to the astronomical community. Well, yeah, by your first statement, it was pretty embarrassing, let me tell you. Remarkable. And knowledge is the key to the universe. Thank you. Ooh, pop growth speed. We do, we are going to need that. We're going to need that. Um, we're not really struggling on food. I feel like there's no reason to do that. And this does increase our, but this has to do with army. So we're going to do the pop growth because that will really help us with the job filling situation and getting more miners and everything like that. Because we do have the ability now, I think, yes, to get another mining district. And that's what we're going to do next. Somebody leveled up. Let's see, what can we do? We're going to go here and we're going to build a star base. 67 influence. I kind of lose track about of how fast my influence like piles up. I think it just goes faster than what we think. We've got another blocker we can get rid of. Which one can we get rid of? We can get rid of the industrial wasteland. Or, oh, we have uh, some aliens. Wonderful. Are they another empire? They are another empire. In fact, are they, though? Actually, yep, they are, because... And it's another humanoid race. In fact, they have a science ship out there right now. So, oh, they're called the Hobgoblins for now. So, our situation log is over here. Okay, investigate the Hobgoblins. Research 23 months. They will probably most likely uh, research us first, but, you know, we need to figure out where they stand and what they're doing, because if they are right down here, and they're looking for this planet to colonize to, we're going to run into a problem. Especially if they're not nice. Because then the only way we can go is out this way or down this way. Oh, it looks like we've got another tradition. So let's go ahead and reduce that Empire Sprawl, maybe? Yeah, because we are getting close. That dropped it to 38. Wow, okay. Because I, apparently that is a new thing, and I am going to have to start remembering to balance that. So, let's see here. We've got you building a station. You're doing nothing. Oh, there's two of you in the same system. Oh, I know why. Because I sent one there and don't even remember that I did that. Wonderful. There is a lot of minerals down here, so I'm going to go ahead and move this one here. I can't build a starbase yet because I don't have it well. I might have just gotten enough, actually, to do that. So, let's... Uh, Let's have the one that's not doing anything or is just moving to come down here and oh no actually we're gonna have them move here because you know why we're gonna steal this system before they can if they are over here oh there's an anomaly they found an irregularity an irregularity okay so we're gonna leave B for now because if we can get a construction ship over here fast enough we can take this system away from them I feel like this is like the very beginning of every Stellaris game. You are rushing, rushing, rushing to expand your borders before somebody else gets too close, you know? Our science ship has two more systems. What I was saying about piracy earlier was the fact that when you survey more systems, it increases your likelihood for someone to break off and create a little pirate base on these systems that you've surveyed but you haven't built a star base at yet and that you don't control wow that one is extremely hard i think yeah no we're not gonna do those yet we do need to start expanding down this way though um but we're gonna have you come down here you've built a system there great we're gonna have the one that's not moving to beta, go over to here, should, should we? I think no. We should build a, you know what, no. We're going to wait. How many more systems do they have to, oh, one more, okay. Never mind then, they're almost done. Then we can build a starbase there, expand, 
hope to goodness that the other people don't get there first because I've had that happen before too where we survey a system and I'm really really trying to get a construction ship over there and uh, ends up uh, we're gonna go ahead and just do that I know it'll take 61 days but we might get something good out of it in the system um, I probably should have waited because if we're gonna take control of it we can do it later but I'll forget about it so we might as well do it So we've surveyed this system over here. Science ship is going to continue down this way. Yep, we're going to have to expand our reach over to here. All right, what did they find? Um, so we've added some engineering research. Someone has towed an asteroid, oh, into a stable orbit. Wonder if that ever happened to us. Wonder if that's how our moon was formed. Who knows? Kind of just depends on if you believe in aliens or not. We're going to survey out this way, I think. I really would like to get another science ship built. I know that that sounds like a bad idea, and that I, but I'm going to get, I'm, before I do that, I'm going to get my military built up because I feel like that's just a better idea. We're going to have to watch the amount of upkeep it costs. So, all right, let's get this. Can't do that. We're lacking. Oh, I made a fatal mistake. I'm lacking alloys <laughs> and influence, so we're going to have to wait. So, darn. Let's actually not have that science ship go there. I'm sorry, I know it's already left, but we're going to turn around and we are going to go this way. Because I feel like they are over here somewhere. They've got to be over here. Because this ends probably right here. I don't see any connections that could happen. And they're not out this way, I don't think, because I don't see any connections over here. So we're going to have our science ship go that way and... What have we found? Oh my gosh, another continental world. Okay, so these are what we need, for sure. We are going to get our, oh gosh, a campaign to elect a new president. Let me, I'll do that here in a second. Let's move over here so we can claim this system before anybody else. An election has started. Okay. Wow, they are pretty split, except for this man who's currently governing the Earth section. But Selma McKinnon is the current ruler but we probably did not finish her mandate. I forgot all about mandates. That's one thing about democracies that I forget about. And then they don't end up getting re-elected when I want them to because it takes... I, I hate when it elects somebody, some scientist who's doing something. So, you know what? Ugh, but we need the influence to build a starbase. How much is it going to cost for us to build a starbase? 18. Are you kidding me? Uh, and she only has 25% support, so it's literally a toss-up between these three people. We're going to go ahead and support her, and she better get elected, because I just spent influence that I needed on her. So, she better get elected. Hope her campaign is strong. I knew they were down there. All right. Of course, they are ruthless capitalists. Just what we need. Oh my gosh. So, I speak for Chief Executive Officer Kebab and the wealthy elite of the Savelli Company. Wow. Your alien ways are objectionable to us, but perhaps we can still engage in limited trade, assuming your inferior civilization produces anything of value. Of course, xenophiles are going to be surrounded by xenophobes. So, we might as well say, we are delighted to meet you. Oh, no, we'll do. We could learn more about you. Everyone's excited because it's a momentous occasion. They probably are going to close their borders with us. They are suspicious of us. They are inferior, however. So that's nice. Um, I don't really have anything to trade with them, so I can't really trade. I knew it! Don't know what that was. They have closed their borders with us, blocking our fleets. Wonderful. She was re-elected. Thank goodness. So, I've got to get this system first. I only need 19. That's it. So I need that I need that to hurry up because they're going to they are going to reach probably to try and get it before me. We'll have them research it. Uh because their science ship right now is probably surveying of course, we don't know what their orders are because we can't really see 
Survey complete. Cool. Through our surveys. Oh, we've ended it. Great. So we've got society research and energy. That's amazing. And you're coming over here. I need this influence. They're going to be mad because our borders are going to touch, but they can get over it. I don't care. Let's see what we got going over, going over here. So we do need another alloy foundry. We can't build another mine. But we do actually need some civilian industries, I think. Uh, I always have a hard time choosing what to build next. Some research labs would help us continue to beat them in research because we're not. We're currently equivalent to them. Um, but let's go ahead and do another alloy foundry. It might be a bad idea. Might be a bad idea. Let's see. Oh, we're going to clear a blocker. Cool. We're going to use that stuff that we got. Oh, what do we have? After the study, science officer Humb Bio Baku reports that they have found the planet to be unusually rich in minerals. All right. So promising crew modifies added to 204, giving the following effects. Anomaly research speed. Wow. Okay. Adds gain a new scientist. Ah. Do we need another scientist? I would like to have three science ships. So that adds. Oh, they both add. Ah, but that's research speed and. I bet it's only for this ship, though. So we're actually going to give him a science position. That's what we're going to do. We'll get another science ship built here in a minute. However, ah, they've got a primitive civilization down there. We are going to go ahead and build a colony ship. Yes. And we are going to claim this. We are missing one. Really? We need one. And what we're going to do is close our borders to them. Yes, go ahead. Get that sucker built. We're going to go ahead and get this. And I think we're about out of time. And I'm going to have to end the episode here. Um, but if you enjoyed, please let me know down in the comments below. And uh, like and subscribe if you would like to for some more Stellaris or The Sims. Um, and when we come back next time, we're going to be looking at a new life exactly what we're going to be looking at because we're going to expand i don't know which planet yet it's probably the biggest one but we're going to expand and we're going to take this system from the grasps of the uh savelli company as well thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have a great day bye bye